what's going on welcome to today's video today what we're going to be doing is i'm going to show you how to mix shoreline mafia type vocals i know shoreline mafia has been big for probably about the last two to three years this style of rap is becoming very popular amongst people like think california is pretty much where i'm from so everybody likes rapping like this so i'm gonna show you how to makes vocals like this before we get into the video i want to remind you to hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and hit the like button drop a comment so let's get to it when it comes to shoreline mafia type vocals their vocals there's not much going on they just have like a nice crispiness to their vocals it's like nice and clean it's simple i love it i have the song here called otc freestyle i'm gonna play for you so you can hear it and pretty much get the feel of the song warning there's bad words or cussing or vulgar language whatever your terminology you want to use so if you don't like this cover your ears or you know do whatever you got to do but so there you have it that's pretty much well that's the end of the song so we're just going to be working with that so the first thing i like doing is i just like dropping a compressor you can use a regular stock compressor by logic those work really good but for this particular one i'm going to be using the arc compressor and the reason i like using the arc compressor is just because it makes everything sound good i don't know how to explain it but just the color this compressor gives to the vocals without it it just feels like it's missing something i don't know that's just my preference <laughs> so i'm just gonna do a simple compression it's gonna just do like a two to one compression i'm just barely gonna be touching it i'm just gonna be using this compressor just to glue the vocals together and that will just pretty much compress the peaks and when it comes to like the lower words it's gonna raise up the volume so i'm just gonna put a two to one ratio i'm gonna keep the attack and the roots the same it's on automatic and I'm just gonna bring the threshold down. And I brought the gain 1 dB up just to make up for the compression plus the vocals are pretty low so next thing we're going to do is we're going to do eq and i just do the simple channel eq by logic you can use whatever eq in the dog you're using they're pretty much the same i mean the only time it's different is when the eq is modeled after a certain eq and it adds color but for the most part this eq adds no color to the vocals and i just do a 12 db slope and i'm going to take out part about 130 125 it all depends on the artist Sometimes if they have a deeper voice, you want to push it back more. If they have a less deep voice, you want to push it forward more. You know what I mean? I'm just going to take out about like 130, 125. <laughs> I pretty much boosted a little bit of the highs, not too much because of the other stuff we're going to be adding to the vocals. We're going to be boosting up the highs more. And then I brought down some of the lower mids, probably about like 200 and then 400 because that's where like the boxiness of the voice is. And you just want to get rid of that because it will make your track muddy. So now that we have this EQ on, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add another EQ. And that's just pretty much the REQ by Waves. And the reason I use the REQ by Waves pretty much because it forces me to use my ears to mix instead of looking at the numbers when i use a channel eq i tend to look at the numbers a lot i don't know why i think naturally i just do that so i i do this to make up with it make up for it and just use my ears because at the end of the day that's the most important thing is it sounds good it's good <laughs> i just do this for my ears I pretty much did the same thing as I did to the 
channel EQ. I just took out some of the lows, took out some of that boxiness in the voice and boosted a little bit more of the highs. And the next thing I want to do from here is I'm going to add another compressor, but the compressor I'm going to be using, well, another plugin by Waves, and that's the SSL channel strip by waves and the reason i'm using this one is just for the color that's going to add plus i like the eq curve like the slope this plugin is just dope like all i can say is a bunch of good things about this plugin so i'm just going to pretty much cut off about probably 115 i don't want to cut out too much of the low even though i already did cut out a lot of the low i'm just doing it just for the hell of it i'm gonna do a little bit more compression i'm just gonna do a two to one ratio compression probably do like a quick release i'm gonna turn the analog on so it can give it the color And that's pretty much all I did is just pretty much filter out some of the lows, add a, a little bit more compression, not too much compression. As you can tell, the light isn't all the way on. So it was just probably hitting a, a little bit less than 3 dB of compression. And then I boosted up about 15K. And that's just like the crispiness because that's what we want is the crispiness in the vocals because that's Shoreline Mafia type vocals. And that's what we're going for. After this, what I want to do is I want to add preamp. Um, I already pretty much have the preamp on. I haven't put the vocals in it, but this is the preamp we're going to be using. It's the little radiator by Sound Toys. This preamp is freaking hard, like stupid hard. It just makes everything sound good. So I'm going to bust it. I personally don't put it on the vocals. I like put the heat all the way up, put the mix all the way up, and I just bust the vocals into it. It just makes it sound good. But my sweater i be getting to this money like cheese call it cheddar got three bad bitches but my main fuck better if i ever get locked up bitch don't send me letters though go in the back with the stick i ain't worried about none bitch we got the clips if it really and when you pretty much run your vocals into the preamp it is going to make it a lot louder so that's why i didn't really focus on bringing up the gain except for this 1db that i added here i could remove it I mean, and then I'll just add a little bit more preamp, but I mean, it don't really matter. It's just the whole thing. If it sounds good, it is good. And that's all you really got to worry about. Now that I got that preamp, I like doing this cool trick it's using this free plugin by Isotope. It's called Vocal Doubler. And I like doing the same thing, just busting the vocals into it. And it just gives it like this fuller feel to the vocals. It just makes it sound dope. I'll overdo it so you can hear what it does. And I'm just going to bring it back. And it's just subtle but it adds a fullness and a thickness to the vocals. So that way it'll just have it pop within the mix more. Forces on my feet, polo on my sweater. I be getting to this mini light cheese, call it cheddar. Got three bad bitches, but my main fuck better. If I ever get locked up, bitch, don't send me letters. No go in the back with the stick. I ain't worried about none, bitch. We got the clips. If it really about something, better turn around quick. And that's how the vocals are sounding. This is pretty much how we started. Polo on my sweater, I be getting to this money like cheese, call it cheddar. Got three bad bitches, but my main fuck better. If I ever get locked up, bitch, don't send me letters, little bro in the back. And it just sounds clean. Like, it's already sounding dope. I like how it's coming out. What I want to do next is just pretty much add just one more compressor. It's going to be a stock logic compressor. And the reason I like using stock logic compressors, there's this dope thing where if you put the distortion on soft, it just makes everything sound nice. And then you can just, like, click through all these compressors. And they're each going to give it its own different color, its own like flavor to it. And you just got to find the one that works best with the song. There's times where the studio one works best. There's times where the vintage, these two vintages, they work dope too. I personally like using this one. This one's been one of my go-tos. Forces on my feet, polo on my sweater. I be getting to this mini light cheese, call it cheddar. Got three bad bitches, but my main fuck better. If I ever get locked up, bitch, don't send me letters. No go in the back with the stick. I ain't worried about none, bitch. We got the clips. If about something, better turn around quick. If it really get to bum, better hope I fucking miss. I don't fuck with these niggas that be snitching real quick. Got me turned to a ghost, bitch. You got me bent. Little homie, stay quiet if you really. Forces on my feet, polo on my sweater. I be getting to this money like cheese, call it cheddar. Got three bad bitches, but my main fuck better. If I ever get locked up, bitch, don't send me. I'm not going for vocals to be compressed. As you can tell, once that needle starts moving, that's where I leave it. I don't want it 
to do too much compression because I don't want to over compress the vocals. So it, this is just more for the color and just pretty much to turn the distortion on soft just because it makes it sound so nice. I hope you guys heard that because I'll just do it again. Forces on my feet is off. Follow on my sweater. I'll be getting to this mini light cheese color cheddar. Got three bad bitches, but my main fuck better. If I ever get locked up, bitch, don't send me And that's on. As you can tell, it just boosts up the highs and it makes it sound so nice. And that's what we're going for. Pretty much the vocals are mixed. All we really gotta do is just add like some delay, some reverb. I'm, I'm just gonna add probably like some auto tune, just a little bit of pitch correction. The song is in EB minor, so I'm just gonna put it in natural minor and there's no EB. So I'm gonna put it on D sharp and I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna put too much pitch correction on. I'm just gonna add just a little bit and that's just to make the vocal sound a little bit nicer. Forces on my feet, polo on my sweater. I be getting to this mini light cheese, call it cheddar. Got three bad bitches, but my main fuck better. If I ever get locked up, bitch, don't send me letters. No bro in the back with the stick. I ain't worried about none, bitch. We got the clips. If it really about something, better turn around quick. If it really get to bum, better hope I fucking miss. I don't fuck with these niggas that be snitching real quick. Got me turned to a ghost, bitch. You got me bent. Little homie, stay quiet if you really talking shit. Got me chasing to his bed like a motherfucking man. Forces on my feet. And then I just added Outlaw. It's a it's kind of like Vocal Rider from Waves. This one's a little bit different. This one's dope too. I like using this. I, I personally put it on loose because I don't want to overdo it because if you overdo it, it just sounds kind of weird. So I put it on loose just to kind of balance out the vocals so everything kind of just stays consistent. A lot of people do it in the beginning. I do it towards the end just because I like putting it at the end. And we're just going to work on those S's. And I'm going to be using a waste plugin. It's called the Syllabits. And that's just pretty much cancel out the S's. One of the last things I'm going to be using is pretty much the S1 Imager by Waze. And I'm just going to push the vocals a little bit wider. Instead of putting it at 1, I'm going to put it probably about like 115. And I'm just going to widen up the vocals. And you can't really hear it. Like, it's not going to make a difference, but it does make a difference, if that makes sense. Because instead of being centered, it's kind of like wider. Last one image is pretty dope. And the last thing we're going to do is just pretty much add some delay and some reverb. I don't really like adding a lot of delay. The delay we're going to be using is the H delay by waves and we pretty much put it on the BPM, put the feedback a little bit, pushed it back a little bit. And then I just pretty much cut out some of the lows because I don't want the lows to be delayed. Just kind of want the upper frequency. So I'm just going to slowly bring that in. Forces on my feet, polo on my sweater. I'll be getting to this mini light cheese, call it cheddar. Got three bad bitches, but my main fuck better. If I ever get locked up, bitch, don't send me letters. No bro, no bro. And that's just pretty much to keep the vocals going and there's no like stop it just keeps everything flowing and going if that makes sense i hope it does because i don't even know what the hell i said <laughs> and pretty much the last thing we'll be doing is just adding some reverb we're going to be using both stock reverbs space designer this one's a two millisecond or two second medium haul and then the second reverb we use is the big reverb and that's just the regular stock reverb forces on my feet I swear I be getting to this mini light cheese, call it cheddar. Got three bad bitches, but my main fuck better. If I ever get locked up, bitch, don't send me letters. Little bro in the back with the stick. I ain't worried about none, bitch. We got the clips. If it really about something, better turn around quick. If it really get to bum, better hope I fucking miss. I don't fuck with these niggas that be snitching real quick. Got me turned to a ghost, bitch. You got me bent. Little homie, stay quiet if you really talking shit. Got me chasing to his breath like a motherfucking man. Forces on my feet. And when it comes to the reverbs, I kind of EQ'd it. I just took out the lows, a little bit of the highs. I think I probably took out too much, to be honest. I just took out the lows just because I don't want the track to muddy up. And I did the same thing to this one. And that's pretty much it. When it comes to making Shoreline Mafia vocals, you just want to keep it simple to some extent. Like, you just want the highs to be in there. You just want the recording to be nice and clean and you just want everything to be leveled right there's no secret when it comes to mixing shoreline mafia vocals you just kind of you just want to hear their music and just kind of want to replicate it and a lot of times they got nice crispy vocals they don't really got like all this like vocal effects on their vocals it's just pretty much simple nice and clean just some compression some eq a little bit of pitch correction it's pretty much the song i'm gonna play with the plugins on and i'm just gonna turn them off so you guys can hear the difference 
Forces on my feet, polo on my sweater. I be getting to this mini like cheese, call it cheddar. Got three bad bitches, but my main fuck better. If I ever get locked up, bitch, don't send me letters, though. That's what we got, and that's where we came from. Got me turned to a ghost, bitch, you got me bent Little homie, stay quiet if you really talking shit Got me chasing to this bread like a motherfucking man Forces on my If you want to hear the full song, I'll put the link in the description Check it out, the song is called OTC Freestyle It's mixed and mastered by me I was just showing you how to get that Shoreline Mafia type vocals So you could do to your songs Or if you're mixing anybody else's songs Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe Hit the notification bell so you may stay up to date with the videos that I'm going to be posting. And hope you have a good day. And I'll see you next time. Peace.